But we have guys that will cut them out. Like they didn't use them, they're cutting them out. Like Serena, for instance, like she would have string 10 rackets, use three of them, and we cut them all. Yeah, but that's ridiculous. Yeah. But Wilson yeah. is just tossing string at Serena like this. You yeah. know, more string for yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Take, <laughs> take more string. Oh, you want natural gut? Here, here's all of natural gut. I, got, I actually got one more for you. Does oh. she use natural gut? She probably yeah. does, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was gut mains and then 4G cross. Well, she was. they were both all gut. For years and years and years. When I first started stringing, they were both playing full gut. And then they switched to gut mains and then 4G cross. What is the different effect of having the gut in mains versus having it in a cross? So what you feel is typically the main string. So you're going to okay. get more feel from the main string. So if you put gut in the mains, it's going to be a much livelier feel than if you put uh, a loo in the mains and gut in the cross. Okay. But gut is the, the best string as far as absorbing shock and vibration. So it's the best string for your arm. Um, I think if you put, well, I know if you put gut in the mains and then a poly in the cross, the gut will slide on the, the poly and you'll be able to generate more spin because it slides and snaps back better. Whereas if you flip it, if you have the poly in the mains, it kind of sticks to the gut. So you can't generate as much spin. So that kind of goes back to the... I'm guessing it would peel off too, the, the gut peels then, no? A little like bit. The, it actually, the... I mean, in the it's the coatings now are so much better than they used to be. Okay. I mean, it's especially Babolat gut. Babolat gut is, is, is by far my, the best in my opinion. I think the Luxalon gut is good, but the Luxalon is a little bit firmer. So it's more of like the guys that like the feel of the, the poly. Mm -hmm. So... Um, but yeah, I think the coatings are so much better that you don't really have to worry about them breaking as quick as they used to. You can play in a humid day. It's well, the one time we did have issues with with gut breaking was the first year we did the French was the COVID year and it rained. It was a, like a steady mist all day, every day. So the players that were playing with um, 17 gauge gut were it was exploding. Really? Now, it gets in when you all talk the time. about like bad experiences, I had um, <laughs> drop some a, names to me too. Yeah, <laughs> the, there's a girl um, who was playing gut mains polycross, and she played 17 gauge gut, um, and she was up on Burton's a set and a break and broke all Which of her strings. <laughs> broke all the strings. Had to f play with her coach's racket. She finished the match with her coach's racket. That happened to me two days ago. Yeah. Justin was playing with the pro stuff. Two days ago, I played yeah. two games with a with a pro stuff. Wow. Yeah. And I hit four balls to the fence. And I could not find the court. <laughs> <laughs> I could not find the court. Yeah. Well, I had to deal with her crying after the match. Wow. Going. She thought At like, the French, one of them she went. I'm guessing she was blaming you or no? No. So so what happens first round, she strings all the rackets. She goes out and you play, she wins, right? And then I think it was second round and she didn't do any rackets. And I'm like, okay, so I guess she's good. And all of a sudden there's four of them in the room at once because they all broke. And she went into her bag and one was broken. So she thought maybe someone like when she didn't no have way. her bag, like cut her strings. She was like, she was all over the place. And, and unfortunately, like it was one of those experiences where like she was, you know, about to win the match of her life. Right. And mm -hmm. then all this happens and she ends up losing and she's standing there talking to me, crying. Um, so that was that was one of the, rough, yeah. the worst experiences oh, so I've same had. Same day stringing overrated, but before you play a match, you string your rackets. You know, and, and well, I guess <laughs> she wouldn't have known. Like the rackets are breaking. Like I'm guessing you yeah, said and, it's and, breaking and in her bag too. If it you're was wet or something. something that's never happened to her before. Fair She's enough. never had that issue. And and really, like the French was that first year because it was in October. It rained every day, and it was like, I mean, Dimitrov was having issues. He had to switch to 16 gauge gut, like. He broke strings like that in Brisbane or somewhere. Yeah, yeah it was another this event. year in January. I think somewhere, but he broke like four rackets in like a, like an hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was freaking out. Like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, it does affect the way it plays. And like, if that she was playing gut in the crosses, it might not have happened. Mm -hmm. But you know, and she ended up switching to full poly now. So it's always curious, like why Murray played with gut in the cross and then Federer and Djokovic played with it in the main. I think it's it's more of the feel. Yeah. Like if you put gut in the mains, it's gonna feel livelier. It's gonna have more of a crisp feel. If it's like Babolat gut, mm -hmm. the Lux gut will feel a little bit more like the poly. But um, if you put the poly in the mains, you get the, the poly feel more than anything. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this clip. The link for the full episode will be down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes.